With the hit MTV show The Hills set to return this June for a reboot, who better to talk about than one of the show's biggest stars, Heidi Pratt, who we used to know as Heidi Montag before she married her longtime love, Spencer. Drama always seemed to follow the couple around both on and off screen when the series was at its peak. She's still with Spencer in case you were wondering, and they're both set to appear on The Hills New Beginnings. Aside from her drama and relationship with Spencer, Heidi was also well known for getting some controversial plastic surgery done around the time when The Hills was most popular. Safe to say that since the early days of The Hills till now, Heidi has changed a lot. She's even a mom now. What's going on guys and girls? My name is Kara and this series we've titled Before and After. We're going to talk about Heidi's body, any work she's had done, style and overall appearance over the years. I've done other celebrity transformation videos on stars such as Farah Abraham and Bella Hadid and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. If there's anyone you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Heidi has been pretty quiet and out of the public eye since The Hills had their finale back in 2010. Crazy that it was so long ago. She tried to follow up by releasing a pop album called Superficial the same year, but unfortunately that was a flaw. Her and Spencer also appeared on reality shows as a couple afterwards, such as Celebrity Big Brother, but it wasn't the same. The couple claimed that shortly after their fame started going downhill, they were actually broke from spending all of their riches so quickly. But like I said, that's another story and here we're going to be covering just Heidi and how she transformed since day one. It's no secret that Heidi has gone under the knife plenty. Remember that controversial plastic surgery I mentioned? Well it's no wonder she received criticism because she actually underwent 10 cosmetic surgeries in one day. So what were these 10 procedures she had done? In only 24 hours, Heidi got a mini brow lift, a nose drop revision, chin reduction, ears pinned back, neck liposuction, liposuction in the waist, hips, and inner and outer thighs, Botox in the forehead and frown area, fat injections in the cheeks, lips, and nasolabial folds, a revised boob job, increasing her size, her back shaped, and a butt augmentation. Gosh, I think it's been 12 or 14 years since the first hills. Gosh, how old am I? <laughs> before the Hills, Heidi actually was first introduced to us in Laguna Beach, the popular show MTV had beforehand. When it aired in 2004, Heidi looked like a completely different person, just like the girl next door. Clearly with the growing fame Heidi was experiencing from her reality TV career, the vanity increased as well, which isn't surprising. Heidi was already pretty to begin with, but in 2007, she got her first nose job and boob job done. After this, I think she looked great and it would have been more than enough. However, she clearly didn't think so. In 2010, when Heidi was only only 23, she decided to undergo her marathon of surgeries. Looking at her before and after photos, her face looks completely different. I think to say that she went overboard is an understatement. All of the work she had done made her look much older than she was and also made her look pretty frozen in the face. Heidi's nose looked great considering she already had a rhinoplasty. Heidi's nose looked great considering she already had a rhinoplasty. I think the revision was unnecessary. By injecting fat into different areas of her face, I think it made her look swollen. Her boobs are also big enough, but she decided to increase them to a triple D, which in my opinion was way too much considering she had a tiny frame already. This made her look extra plastic and even disproportionate in some photos. The end result of all this cosmetic work was basically a real life Barbie. She just didn't look real. Not only did this excess of surgeries change Heidi's whole look, it was also extremely dangerous. Heidi opened up to Paper Magazine recently about how it could have became fatal, stating, Spencer thought he lost me. I died for a minute. With that much surgery, I had to have 24 hour nurse care and Spencer didn't want to leave my side. I was at a recovery center and had Demerol to deal with the pain because it was so extreme. I couldn't even imagine how much pain one would be in after all of that. Heidi has also since admitted that it was partly the fame which had her desiring all of these changes. Starring on the Hills had her desperately wanting to fit the character MTV created for her, and it drove her to obsession. Ultimately, all of the work didn't make her happy at all. That lasted a long time. So I was just on this high and I kind of thought that life would stay that way. Like there was just a lot of money and there was a lot of shopping and there was a lot of glamour and glitz and then um, I didn't realize that the surgery would like affect me so much. Considering these surgeries were almost a decade ago, Heidi has changed a lot since then too. Her face appears to have settled and it doesn't have that frozen puppy look she once had. I think Heidi just looks happier, healthier, and back to herself. Looking at Heidi's body, she also has revised her breast implants again. This time though, in 2013, she opted for a reduction. Telling People Magazine, they were so heavy they were falling through the skin. It was just too heavy for my body 
and I was in pain and uncomfortable all the time. I thought, what do I need this big of breasts for? I think Heidi's body looks great now. She's back to being super fit after having her and Spencer's baby Gunner in 2017. Heidi was always thin and small framed as far as I can remember from her time on the hills, but she talked about getting back to her pre-baby weight in an Instagram caption in April 2018. She said, I am officially back to my pre-pregnancy weight. I decided that I was going to eat balanced meals. Okay, I definitely eat chocolate, cookies, something sweet every day for breastfeeding reasons and not to have any weight loss pressure. Obviously, I have had some shakes and teas. My workout tips, just carrying Gunner around 24-7. LOL, it feels good but it hasn't been my priority. Maybe one day I'll get back to the gym. Heidi's body looks great now, especially for a new mom, and she actually looks healthy, not all plastic. So Heidi's hair and makeup look in general hasn't seemed to change much over time as she's always been a blonde. I think being a blonde suits her best anyways. These days, her blonde hair is looking super long and like it has a lot of volume. So I would guess that she has hair extensions of some sort. In the early days, her hair was a lot shorter. Heidi's style has changed with the times as well and she's certainly followed the trends throughout her time on the hills. Back on Laguna Beach, her style was your typical preppy California teen, which included her love for polos. I don't think Heidi's style was ever considered shocking or over the top. Nowadays, although she can get glammed up and dress as well, a lot of the choices that I see in her photos appear to be more casual and like cute sweaters and jeans. Either way, I think her clothing choices suit her well, and no matter what, she always looks gorgeous and classy. So I'm not sure what excitement this new chapter of The Hills will bring for all those involved, but I can't wait to see. I wonder if Heidi will have changed a lot considering she's now a devoted wife and mother. Maybe it'll be a way for her to shed the diva-like image people had of her at the time she got those outrageous surgeries. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Before and After. If you wanna talk more about Heidi's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Let me know who else you'd like me to make a before and after video on and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!